Hello and welcome to the Truck NIS. We are back after a decent little break there. We had a couple weeks off, but we are going to get back at it tonight at Nashville Super Speedway. A fantastic place to race. I am going to go ahead and put the right setup in. So hopefully, if I have to cut this out, I'm uh, hopefully it doesn't show anything once I actually open this. Um, There it is. So we're going to bring open the queue setup. All right. Good. No secret information <laughs> sent out. Uh, okay. That's already unmuted. People are being a little quiet. It's a decently small field tonight, apparently. I didn't really look too closely, but apparently, uh, I think we're all going to make it, is my understanding. Uh, that or it's really close. So a little less pressure for qualifying, but I do, of course, want to get a good start. I did some practice. But it can be tough to hit the hit just the right marks in qualifying, so it's going to take a little bit of focus. And I think the first lap is the one it has to be, so I'm going to really work hard here. Could have gotten back on the throttle a little earlier. That's okay. Didn't overdrive it. This will be fastest lap for Thompson, 30.4. Okay. One more lap. A little bit off. My best time. But decent. Yeah, there's just a little bit less grip on the second lap. You can see there, it pushed out in two, and I don't think it's because I pushed any harder than the first lap. It's just a little less grip to work with, unfortunately. So I think that first lap's going to be the one that has to stick. But that's all right. I think that was decent. We didn't quite get 29. If you hit it real well, you can just get into the 29s, but I missed out. Bye. Very tiny bit. 0.018 past the 30 mark. And Scott will uh, get the pole for now. Still going to be people running. But I'll take that for sure. I'll definitely take that. I guess we'll do uh, one time around, get back up to speed as I had lifted off, and then do a practice pit stop. Also, worked on that. Look, there we got Tyler behind us in third. Probably Nick Martin, Chad, Alex, Dylan. Dylan said he uh, messed up Q and he still got seventh place. I guess that's pretty good if you mess up your lap and you're still that high up in the running order. Ooh, I forgot this uh, <laughs> Q setup has the brake bias back a little bit, so got a little bit loose there, but I won't have it that far back for the race. And I hopefully won't get sideways when I'm entering the pits. So I'm going to get the race set up in before I forget. And in fact, I will be back in just a moment. I need to make sure some of the settings are correct, and I don't want to show this. All right, and we're back. So I decided to go ahead and just skip the warm-up for you. We had no heat race because we didn't have enough people to knock anyone out. So we've got 28 people total, That's the end of the session. as you'll see here, and we ended up P3, so we'll be on the inside, that's good, never like being on the outside, <laughs> so it's always nice. Um, Matthias with an excellent lap, getting the pole, seems a little reluctant about it, I've been there, I understand that feeling, <laughs> he's saying like, oh, I thought about starting in the back, <laughs> and now he's uh, leading us off, so... Funny how that works out sometimes. I guess he could just pretend that uh, he started way in the back, so far in the back that the leaders are catching him. He can, like, pretend that way. <laughs> I don't know if that works quite the same. But I'm going to get session last lap up, and we're going to worry about being consistent. Tire saving, I think, could be very important here. Nashville Super Speedway. I think we should be able to get on the right rear. If we're nice to the truck, 
the stages we'll have to remember to race for stages 45 and 95 and taking a look here we get 58 laps of fuel which means we will have to divide this into thirds one left to green you'll be lining up on the inside close pit road is closed and i will plan to uh i guess pit on the 50s on the 50 marks i guess that's the way we'll do it We'll save some fuel because we can. But I also want to check to see what gear we need to be in. Is it a first gear start? It might be a first gear start. In fact, I think it might be. Of course, I made that mistake <laughs> in the Gen 4. So, we'll see if I uh, regret that decision, but... Okay, the pace car is in. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green flag, green flag. And we ended up kind of speeding up, so I just ended up... 15 to second at the last second there. It's kind of a weird way to start it, but... It works. We're still right up behind him here. He didn't really get any jump at all. Oh, we got a caution already. That is not what I expected from Nashville. I wonder what happened. Look, everyone. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Wow. What happened? Yeah, that was unexpected. Oh, was that my fault? I could tell. Huh. That's a bit strange. I had them muted because we had just started. I was just still uh, doing my intros and such. Well, that's no good. I hope not too many people were taken out, and hopefully nobody. Hopefully it was just like a harmless spin of, of some sort or something. You don't want to see that ever. I imagine Nick will shorten this caution period, given that it was an immediate caution, and... I don't think anyone is going to be heading down pit road except for those fixing damage. They usually, uh, usually skips if that's the case. Immediate cautions and the like. Is anybody heading to pit road that might have damage? Billy, that sucks. He's got damage, I assume. Like I said, that's really the only reason you would head down. It looks like he's the only one though, potentially. Hmm. Maybe we'll just get it out of the way early and we'll go green to the end now. Not at all what you expect from Nashville Super Speedway. With how clean this place usually is. And just how clean these races generally are in the league races. Wasn't on my bingo card, that's for sure. But, what is this guy doing? That yeah, might be his, his set up wrong, something wrong. He was having problems. Yeah, I just had black screen, but it came back. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh no, Shane's having trouble with his uh, VR again. He's been having black screen issues. That stinks. Well, you held a pretty good line for no screen. That's pretty good. Well, I could hear I was in the grass, so I was just trying to keep it there. One to go. Shane can do with this with his eyes closed. He can prove it. <laughs> I'll we'll do second gear. I don't know. Kind of I haven't done it all day, and now it just doesn't. Actually, that first gear's got a pretty good jump. I think just because we sped up a little bit, kind of like eased into going green there on the on the start. That's the cruel joke of it all. We needed the uh, second gear, but I think from uh, from launch, I think we will want first gear. It's pretty borderline. 
I think if we ever had to restart on worn tires, I might choose second gear just to avoid tire spin, but with the grippy tires to start off, I am liking uh, that extra bit of launch we get, even if it's a somewhat quick shift. All right, we'll try this again. The event just got a little bit shorter, but still a long one. We are on the inside. Tie us out there. Um, Overdrove that a little bit. Kind of hard to tell uh, your speeds right off the initial starts. We're going to be real easy on it. Scott's off and running. I'm going to keep it low. I think you get the best rotation down there. So I'm going to try to keep it, uh, keep it backed down. Patience on throttle till we get most of the way through the corner and then let the truck rotate. Somehow we're pulling away, though. I feel like I'm really underdriving it right now. But we're somehow pulling away. That could be a bad sign, actually. Wow. Yeah, look at that. 1.3, 1.4. Don't think I'm overdriving it. I've been wrong before, though, I guess. Scott's out there, though, so it's not like I'm a lone ranger out here killing my tires. I guess we'll keep an eye on that. That's really interesting. I don't know why we're pulling away so much. You can see these big liftoffs I'm doing. And I'm being pretty patient on throttle, I think. I just uh, I can't wait to be spectacularly wrong and find out that I'm killing my right front or something. It is a little worrying to see that, but I'm going to trust uh, what I'm feeling with the truck, and I'm feeling that I should still be able to... I'm still getting it on the right rear and not driving into the corner too hard. Not going to push, trying to keep up with Scott or anything. Focus on my own race. Just take the approach I feel is best. Two seconds back to third now. Well, I guess we'll plan to hit around 55 maybe now. Might be good to go a little longer anyway. All right, Colton. That, time's pretty consistent. that looked like it got a little bit loose there. P2. Just done the angle a little bit. Actually, I get loose. There's a lot of turn down there. That was a little bit too much, though. Kind of took a weird angle into the corner. I think I entered a little bit too low. And then having to put a little extra wheel in it killed me. Oh my god, now I hit the apron. I am. That was a terrible lap. That was horrendous. Let's have a better one this time. Nothing went right that lap. So, there we go. No loose moment in one and two. 
little bit of a wider entry, so I can be more straight steering wheel through the corner. So Berman ahead is now 1.5. And no apron hitting in three and four. And just like that, I'm over two tenths faster than I was the previous lap. Can't uh, make terrible laps like that too often in such a competitive league because you got such good racers around you, they're not going to make too many mistakes. Especially if this thing goes green. You know, wish you didn't lose that two tenths. If you lose by two tenths, huh? No, it doesn't exactly work that way. There's a lot more factors that go into it, but it's something I think about whenever I'm trying to be consistent, trying to hit the best corners every time. Couldn't be much more relaxed than it is right now, though. Tons of room, both in front of and behind us. We are just driving away from the guys behind. The captain, Irvin, ahead is now 1.4. Your last lap time was at... No cave here today. He must be busy with something. He's, the, he's not even the P2 guy anymore, I don't think. I can't quite remember who was who it was in second now. It might be Scott, actually, that's NP2 in the standings. Fortunately, it's it's been weeks since I've looked at it, because it's been weeks since we raced. Now we got the Diet Dr. Pepper series going on, we got the K5 Championship, there's lots of standings to keep track of. Chad back there in third having a great run so far. This and does not fucking care. James having trouble. I sent him the uh, OSR setups before the race. He was asking if I had any setups to share, and I said, Well, not really, but I can send the OSR setups. And he said, Sure. So I sent him uh, what OSR had for Nashville Super Speedway this week. Those usually do me uh, pretty well for official racing. Sorry, Nick. There's, they're hit and miss, but... Nah, you're good, man. Usually I can feel at least somewhat competitive in semi-strong fields. Sometimes you get those really extra strong strength of fields where they clearly have been working on a setup for probably weeks. And then the 7,000 I rating guy comes out and makes you feel silly. But... Usually, setup does all right. Sometimes it can surprise. Sometimes I'm right up there, up there with them. OSR is a pretty great resource. Free setups, and I'm not even sponsored to say that. Imagine that being sponsored. That's great, making money from this. <laughs> so I'm suddenly a little off the pace. I don't know if I'm just missing the mark, the marks, or. Uh, driving or what I'm doing. Let's see if we can get a little bit more green in our lives here on the Delta Bar. That was a much better lap. I think I was just missing my marks. I should be focusing on driving instead of talking about whatever else I'm talking about. It is getting a little tighter though. I have to lift off a little earlier. I haven't been using brake. I thought I was going to be using brake but I felt like I, I had plenty of turn early on, so I didn't really feel it was quite necessary. But I might start using it if it feels a little bit more tight moving forward. Scott's got a big lead, but I don't think it's growing anymore. Kind of stalled out there. At about 1.4. Same with the uh, deficit behind. There's kind of right around 3.4. It's sticking there. First stage will be lap 45. That was 
a little bit of break there. Felt like, like I overdrove entry. Might be time to start using that brake. That brake pedal. Just the tiniest bit of brake drag. To get it turned. I've got it pretty far back. I think it's 60.5% brake bias. Which is pretty far back for the truck. Uh, at least relative to what I normally do. Yeah, definitely got to use some brake now. I'm feeling a little bit too much pressure being put on the right front at this point in the run. So we'll back it down a little bit. Yeah, hit the apron, that'll help. I swear, I never usually have so much issue hitting the apron. I've done that twice now, though. The lap time was 31.2. I don't know. It's, I don't know if I'm feeling okay. I might have overdriven it. I'm kind of feeling just inconsistent, too, just in my own driving. Does anybody have any adjustments? How to fix this fucking truck. James is not liking the OSR setup, it sounds like. I feel somewhat responsible now for sending that to him, and he's not liking it. You've just done that 31.2. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, you should have something in your black box, probably brake bias. Uh, I think that'd be about it. I'm not sure. We're kind of falling off. And I'm driving with a big crowd in the front of it. Coming out of the corner. I'm kind of getting a tight on in center, not quite out of the corner. That's what I've got, but I've got uh, Daniel's setup. Very Daniel. She's very kindly provides. He's looking for adjustments on how to make it turn. Uh, you probably burned your right front off early in the run. Probably a middle off thing, so I'm saying probably go up on the right rear. Well, still P2, still got a lot of room around us. Scott's kind of driving away. See Nick Come there in fifth. Nick. I'll give you the law here. It's moved forward. I wonder if it's uh, cooler temperatures as the sun's going down, making the truck tighter too. That's how it works, right? Pretty sure. Cooler temperatures means rippier racetrack but can also mean tighter racetrack. I think that's how it works. Scott doesn't seem to mind. He's still driving further and further away from the lead. Yeah, easily take, take low in one here. He's got some draft from him as well. Thank you. I figured out a little bit how to drive this thing now that the right front is struggling a little more. Definitely. Just gotta be willing to use those, uh, use that brake pedal. Not hard to cook your front uh, right here. It's true. This is only my second illustration. Stay high, appreciate that. Up back up to Scott just a tiny bit, only about a tenth. That was even with passing James there, though maybe it did help to have his draft for a moment.
Mostly the same, though. In terms of distance around us. Lap 45, the end of the first stage. I have to keep that in mind. Feeling pretty good, P2 right now, though. That would be a great place to finish the stage. So if I can catch Scott, that'd be pretty cool. The lap time was at One thing I'm lacking in this uh, season so far, playoff points. I've not won very many of those. I've not won a race, and I won one stage, I believe it. It was just one. Of course, it helps to uh, be the regular season point leader, but... You got guys like Cabe with this... How many wins? Four or five wins? It's kind of kicking some butt when it comes to playoff points. That doesn't help him out much when he doesn't show up. I think we're all pretty lucky. Got to make sure I back this down enough. Last one and two, I definitely drove it harder than the truck was willing to give me. see that pushing even wasn't very fast. Get a much better run off there. Sun's going down making all kinds of interesting colors on the track. Ooh, hit the mark good there. That was pretty good rotation. That felt good. I said we'll try to go to like lap 55 I guess but if everybody else pits around me there's no reason to stay out much longer than that so if they all pit by lap 52 or something I'll come in 53 always got to be ready to take the audible Scott maintaining a 1.5 we're pulling away again from the guys third on back Got on the throttle too hard. Didn't feel very good. That's definitely getting tight. Could have done a better job getting on the right rear. Got back to 1.6. be interesting to see when Scott decides to come in as the leader he's pulling away again he's got to be feeling pretty good definitely was not very good to the right front don't like how tight it is Shoot, I wish I could adjust the tape like we used to, add a couple percent, maybe get a little bit more turn in this thing, but no, they took that away from us. It's qualifying or race tape now. We are in a race tape mode. If it were 56, maybe I'd make it 58, but that's not allowed anymore. Do I, do I potentially accept that Scott beat me this run Thank you, Rick. and that I'll need to do better the next run and pit a little earlier? Maybe I take the... Yeah, uh, your tires are better. He just running me down there, man. 
Sure, Nick back there in third now, though. He's always good at saving tires and racing for the long run. It's not a huge surprise to see him doing well. Scott almost two seconds out though. He's done better completely this run. Just all around. The to Urban ahead is now Little apron for luck. That didn't do too much though, thankfully. Mm-hmm. 17 lamps of fuel. Don't want to run it completely empty, though. I don't think that would be necessary. Just a 50, I think, would be completely fine. Oh, no. Thomas is disconnected. He's had issues of some sort, I, I assume. Might have been something to do with that first caution. Might have been involved somehow. Nick is pitting. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Interesting. He's doing a bit of an undercut. I'm pitting this time. Interesting. We got multiple pitting. They're going undercut for sure. And I don't mind if they catch up to us a little bit, because if they do, then I get their draft. I'm picking this and they'll have fresher tires. You know, if they end up in front of me. Long term, that might not be so bad. No, I'm not. I'm with you. Ah, Shane missed the pits, it sounds like. That's such a terrible feeling. These are kind of tough pits to get into as well. It's a pretty sharp turn into there. I'm not going to be happy with what I see with my tires on. 72 77 for Gavin. He did 77 on purpose. <laughs> Says his number. He's just Man, showing off. Fucking slow. Ryan not happy. Some guys are uh, having some trouble, it sounds like. James going another lap down. He's not having a very fun time, I don't think. Not really enjoying uh, how the truck feels. Still feel a little guilty. This. Yeah, I'm all dirt on this. I one. sent the OSR as a recommendation, and it's not working for him. Some more people pitting in. They might just go to 50 since there's so many people pitting already. plan was just to divide it into threes, so 50 would be theoretical optimal. Your last lap time was at Please, Maybe before we start experiencing traffic around us, it would be best to hit the pits. There's someone on the apron down there. They're coming back in. They might have had a penalty. Got some draft, that's a good thing. Scott got held up a little bit, I think. He's five tenths closer than I remember. I don't think my tire's gonna look that good. 77, 78, I don't think that's what I'm gonna be seeing when I come in. I think we're gonna pit now. The lead is 
Pitting uh, now. Is pitting. Pit lane speed limit is 45. I think we gained a lot of time on uh, Scott Please there. Stop again. Saw he was pitting, it confirmed my uh, pit box team. thoughts. It was iffy, and then I saw him Five, coming in. Three, two, one. Right here. Alright, a little awkward on the entry. 6371, that's embarrassing. I don't want to share that. <laughs> I gotta do better. Carwile is now in the lead. Move it, move it. The lead is fitting now. There's a car approaching. Stay behind the line. Okay, Colton. The next car is Irvin. Got much more aggressive a pit exit, it looked like. I was a little bit more apprehensive with it. Got him some time back, though. Oh, whoa. He could really slow through the corner. He might be pitting. He was. I had to react to that a little bit. Glad I was paying attention. On the right rear again. Push hard. We need to pass Irvin so we can get the lucky dog position. Shitting in. Um, I thought I wasn't sure if he was giving me the inside. The lead is bidding now. Not. Augustin, let's lead to the race. Stay high. You're in the top ten. Clear inside. Inside here. Not done great moving around. Guys who have not pit yet. After qualifying 12, this race with the craft. We did gain a little bit on Scott through the green flag cycle, but lost it. Basically, right back. Also, we passed 45. We passed the uh, stage, and I didn't even really think about it. Clearly, we were in second place. Wasn't really any battling going on for it. I'm not driving well today. I'll be honest. Just not driving well. Nick and Gavin behind us, they were some of the earliest hitters, however. I'll take a look at race labs in a moment. Find myself when they came in. 47. So they came in lap 47, we came in lap 52. So we have five lap fresher tires. I'm going to use brake the whole run this time. Hopefully be better on that right front. Let me try to focus on being on the right rear. I'm trying to adjust off that first run because I'm not happy with how I handled the tire wear. It might be nice to get into Scott's draft again. If I can. We got people all spread out now throughout the whole track. As strategies diverge, everyone coming in at the same time, so we got people at different parts of the track. Keeps it interesting. Car outside. Clear. Guess maybe I should have shared my tire wear. It's kind of messed up to only show it when you feel like you did a good job. It's too late now, though. I can't type that out while I'm driving. You're in fourth position. Fourth position. We still got some people that went long. The lead is now. 
I'm glad that uh, at least we were able to catch up to Scott a little bit on uh, through the pit cycle. That's some time. That's very nice to have gained. I'll try to drive it loose on exit some more while at the same time backing off on entry. Everyone has so much better tires than I did. 63.71. Without force, though, I mean, we are P2. Or, you know, we were beforehand. Now we've still got to let the pits cycle completely go through. Okay, Clear. Consistent. We're point 0.6 behind Scott. You're good, don't worry about it. I hope I'm doing okay. I hope I'm doing a better job this run. I think it really will help to have been using brakes the whole time this time. I don't think it was a good idea for me to just coast it through the corner like I started the race off doing. That last lap was at 30.6. Keep hitting that apron. I need to stop. It's time to stop. Everybody's watching. Hit the apron every lap. <laughs> this is one person out. Someone's going extra long. There's no way they can make it. It's like 75, though, I doubt. Like, that'd be crazy. That'd be an absurd amount of fuel saving. So they're just going extra long. Who is it? It's Billy. Okay. That's interesting. He, he must be doing like some sort of Hail Mary strategy. Because he was involved in that first wreck, I'm assuming, based on the fact he pit early. So he's probably forced into doing something very outside of the box. Try to get something working. Be cool for him if it works out. The there he goes into the pits. He didn't catch a caution, unfortunately. Not sure that's what he was hoping for. Get some draft here. Draft actually matters in this series. Unlike the uh, Gen 4 or Arca, where it's very, very little difference it makes. Here you can actually see a noticeable difference. Found him. Hey, go ahead, Alan. Stop checking off the corner. Still there, hold your line. It's okay though, it doesn't have to. But this hurts my entry a little bit. Thank you. Yep. Cap 2, Urban ahead is increasing. It's now 0.9. Scott pulled away a little bit more. Maybe I'll be better long run this time, though. I hope so. Ryan Thompson's disconnected. He's had a bad race. I'm pretty sure he was pretty high in the standings before this, wasn't he? Again, like, it's been forever since I looked at it. I might be thinking of a different series that he's doing really well in. I think it was this, though. So that could be huge for the point standings. I know he uh, has had some great runs. So I guess the plan come in about black uh, 101, 102. Or follow Scott maybe if he comes in. Ideally, I'd want to come in a little earlier than him.
We got fast guy coming up. That's Billy. I'm done. This is more fun than me. Hopefully he won't expect the bottom here. I know he's kind of out of it. I'm starting to feel that way. The captain, Irvin, in front is now one. Usually I let fast cars go bottom, five. but... Twelve. Oh, okay. He wants bottom. Have a good the That's fine. He's, he's really fast. Place. That makes sense to want that. Guy high. Got yeah, brand new tires. Thing. I'm going to take a big swing at it next stop. See how it goes. And hey, look. I can uh, latch on to that draft a little bit. Oh, I got loose there, and I can drive away. P2. Man, Scott's got this figured out, though. He is doing great. Seems like, uh... Just gaining at every opportunity. Not having any luck keeping up with him. Both front barrels, 81, 96. Yeah, I played that first run. I was like 73, 86. Everyone had so much better yeah, tires. I did. 62, 85. Well, the track really just changed. I think the lights just came on. Go ahead, Rick. Okay, Colton. There's a car exit in the Did the lights just come on? Yeah, that's what that was. Thanks, so. Thanks, Shane. Hey, your tailgate's pretty cool looking. It changes colors like all over. Yeah. Goes from brown to black. <laughs> Man, that messed my eyes up bad. I had to check that out, Rick. I didn't know it would change colors like that. Yeah, it's like a, it's not a brown so much like a bronze, you know what I mean? It looks pretty cool. I don't know if it's just the lighting or what. You've just done that. Might be the funky spec maps I was playing with. <laughs> We're going wide over here. He's going to be on my outside on exit. Outside. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Uh, okay, on turn one. one. Clear high. James Hester coming by with fresh tires. Bottom. The car inside. Stay high. Clear. Scott out to 1.3. I don't think I have any foot anything for him today. I think he's got everybody beat at the moment. Dominating. Five back to third. That was a 31.3. I was hoping that uh be able to back it down a little bit more this run maybe a do better long run but I think he still did a better job I feel better than I did at this point in the last run I think it's been a long time since I've been lapped on track but to loosen the truck up on entry then you put big five big five plus and negative What, you ask to loosen it up on the Yeah, sure. Bye. Negative. All right, thank you, sir. All right, well, Scott continues to drive away. Dylan's catching us a little bit, but only a little bit. And we're getting closer to our second pit stop time. And that'll be about lap 100, so I guess we still have about 20 laps to go. A little more than that. But it is approaching. Another thing that's approaching is the stage. 
will be the lap 90. Let's see if I remember to notice this time. <laughs> right now it's looking like we'll be P2 again. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. The post went away for a second. But, uh, who knows? I, Dylan back there actually is looking like he's catching quite a bit. He's got one lap fresher tires than we do. Yeah, go ahead, Billy. Scott's surrounded by traffic at the moment. He's got James right behind him, who looks like he's content riding behind. He's also approaching some lap traffic up ahead. Slowly but surely. Might catch him this lap or the next. And then soon enough it'll be our, our turn to make our way through. Hopefully smoothly. Might be my only chance to make up time on him. So I don't think I'm doing it on my own. Just not doing a very good job saving tires today. I think that's pretty much the long and short of it. Even when I've tried a little bit more this run, it's just not really working out. Dylan behind clearly has better tires, more so than he should, just by having one lap pressure tires, I feel like. Scott still uh, pulling away a little bit at a time. He's got three different trucks right in front of him, though. I'll we'll have to get around soon. Can we try for, like, a big undercut? I don't think that's a good idea. I don't really think that would help us much. All right, Colton. Oh, it's 33. My bad. It's a bad corner. almost felt like I started getting some arrow tight from this group in front of us, all of a sudden. Scott making his way through. Didn't look like too many complications with that. Your lap time was 31.5. Oh! So, he just got really close to that lap truck. Probably heard his exit. The gap to Irvin in front is now 1.3. Four laps to go in the stage. Should be able to keep Dylan behind us. Not gaining quite enough. That lap was at 31.5. Shane on our outside. Carry up the top. Oh. <laughs> Stay low. Still there, hold your line. Clear high. Still there. It's tight. Go. Outside, clear. I think Shane said high. I don't know though. Hi. <laughs> you can't hear me, but. Gained a little bit on Scott through there, but that's all because of how we caught the lap traffic, I think. I don't think we're actually catching it by speed or anything. Oh, the truck is getting tight again. Not great. It's almost like the backing down on entry didn't do anything.
Maybe I gotta be more patient on throttle, and maybe that's where I'm hurting the tires. There's something I don't have quite right. Thanks, Robert. Scott's still in the, in the thick of it. Try to be a little more patient on throttle. I think that's kind of working. This is your stage right here. Might have found something a little bit. I think, uh, no, I got, I got just you how I'm doing the center of the corner a little bit. That might help me. Probably too little too late, but. Oh, we're kind of swerving out of the corners here ahead. That's making me a little nervous. Yikes. Yikes. You can see guys getting really tight and then putting a lot of wheel in it and then when they come off the corner... Yeah, I'm done. E3's having trouble holding the line. Outside, cap two. Clear out the line. Right clear out the line. Clear out the line. Clear out the I feel like I'm I'm driving a little bit better now. Colton, uh, go ahead, turn three. Outside. Outside, clear. Thank you. He doesn't really hold me up at all. I think he was a little faster. A lot of time. Draft wasn't too bad to have. Appreciate it. Nonetheless. Look, coming up on pit stops again. That got loose out of the corner. That's like the first time I felt that. Go ahead, bud. Go ahead, Colton. Hey, you fucking bye. Caution? Okay. Not expect that. I wonder what happened. That sucks. How about that, Weatherman? That's good timing, huh, buddy? <laughs> Pit road is now open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Come in for tires and fuel. Watch your speed. The leader, Irvin, is pitting. Okay. We'll need to stop again to get to I the just, end. I don't really, I don't have anything for Scott, though. I don't think this is gonna, like, help our chances or anything. If anything, it hurts us. Is that gap we had behind us now gone? Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. All right, 66, 66. I'm not going to brag about that because <laughs> I didn't share the first time, so that doesn't seem fair. I'll just keep quiet about my tires this race, I guess. Okay. Not that it's anything to brag about anyway. I just killed both of them instead of 
so just the right front. I don't know what to do though, man. Uh, 66, 66, and yet he was still pulling away from us. What we do about that? We're gonna fuel to the end now, without too much trouble. We'll save though, just in case we get a bunch of green white checkers, which I hope we don't do anyway. I guess it can't hurt. Half bar twenty five car. Pits are open. All right. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to keep P2 anymore. Since some fast guys have now caught up to us. But at least uh, both stages so far we've gotten P2. It'll be one to green once we come around one more time here. Then I'll do first gear again, because I liked first gear. I think that worked well. We'll have the fresh tires again. I want to try to figure out how I can keep up with Scott, but... I mean, 66-66, I can't do too much more than that, except we easier on both you know, ends of the corner, I guess, but... I don't know. I don't know what I can do. I'm stumped. Full course yellow. Pits are open. There will be no pitting till the end. Maybe we try to pass him early and then make him get around us again? That's not going to work either. Plus, I'll probably just push too hard trying to do it because I'm sure he's not just going to hand it over. It's not like it's. Free for the taking or anything. One left to green. We're going green. You're on the outside time. this time. Oh well. Is it one or two to green? One. One to green. Took a look through the field real quick while we have some time. Top 10 with Ice back in 12th after the pole. Billy's in 13th. That's an excellent rebound. And then you got your lap down cars after 17th there. Some guys, multiple laps down. Where's Gavin? I missed him when I was going through. Six. Oh, he's right behind Nick. Okay. Well, that's what your field's looking like at the moment. Hopefully I uh, can get a good jump. About to go green. Stay focused. Me too. Not my favorite. Pope car is off. Pope car is off. Time to do your job. job. That was not a good first gear start. I regret that now. The next car is the leader. Don't self-spin it. Wow. That was bad. I'm used to how tight it's been. Not tight anymore. Oh, I hate the apron. That was not a good first lap. I gotta get back into it. Maybe we just try to do what uh, we see. Scott doing up there. Maybe try to imitate his line. Figure out what he's doing. Is he entering wider? Is that helping him? Oh man. He is entering much wider. Had such a terrible start, though. He's already got half a second. I 
think I tried being more patient on throttle this time. Through the center and exit of the corner. Keep it down low for a longer amount of time. Will it help? Who knows, man? Probably not. I think that might be the play, but I think we'll just try to be easier on throttle, center exit. Let that be what we do. Try to improve our long run speed. More break on entry, easier through center exit. Making adjustments. Not in first, find out why, I guess. Was at 30.3. Dylan's right there following us as we get a little closer to Scott. I have no more green flag pit stops, so I'm actually going to move the brakes back even further. Get as much turn as we can. Let's back up. Scott's not getting away like he did earlier in the race, not quite as much. Just a little bit too hard that time. Nick's catching up. See, he's a little closer back there. Looking to be a part of this experience. Maybe just by being closer we can make him push harder. Drive it. Do you think it might be helping the new approach? enough feel much more on the right rear Nick is coming up though he's point four now We got the four of us up here and then two seconds back. 
between Nick and Brian Carwile. And Scott's moving away again. It's not what I want to see. He's just too good, man. He's got this all figured out. Now, not looking like the pressure did anything, but probably hurt me. It's pulling away again. We might not even be able to hold on to second. I mean, we got a couple of guys behind us ready to pounce. Threat of getting past. Scott's just off to win the thing. Up time was thirty point nine. Seven up for him now. Brand, hopefully, not too much of it. You've just done a thirty one point zero. I definitely feel like the truck is looser this time, like I've done a better job, but it's not enough to keep up with Scott. Apparently not enough to hold off Dylan either because he's back there, ready to go. I'm falling off. Dylan might have just went to get a run out of the corner. It's ready to pass me. Almost definitely pushing too hard. I told myself don't hurt myself trying to keep up with Scott. I think that's exactly what I did. Somehow justified it in my head. I'm like, oh, I got this new approach. It's on the right rear more. I don't think that's what happened in reality. I think I pushed too hard. Get him by us. Maybe we can help him catch. It's my best hope at this point. They start battling. 
wasn't going to hold him off, that's for sure. Clearly has better speed at this point. Had it been closer to the end, sure, I'll, I'll battle him for P2, but way too many laps left. I just don't have it. Let's see if we can hold off Nick, I suppose, for P3. He's 0.5 back. Dylan driving away. Is he catching Scott? He might be catching Scott. Oh, I think Dylan just hit the apron, though. It looked like his truck went up on exit, like he tapped the uh, apron. I feel so bogged down in the corners, I almost want to sh try shifting, but I'm not going to dare try that right now. Uh, especially if I can't even keep it off the apron. Dylan's about one second back to Scott right now. Get tight. Lap traffic ahead, but not much. Probably not going to be too difficult to deal with. Some time gained back after being the apron last lap. The last lap time was at 31.4. Well, P3, for now, still going to be a great day at the track, though. Don't get me wrong. Even if we lose this spot to Nick, too. Heck, even if we lose a couple more spots, I mean, still, P3. On Shane there. It's looking like he's making it easy for everybody to get on by. Just hoping his screen doesn't go black while I'm passing him. <laughs> Car outside. It backs way off for us. Appreciate that. Both guys ahead driving away. They're still about a, only a second apart between the two of them.
think back to point seven. It might be okay. Hold on to Q3 then. I don't know why he would hang on my outside like that. It's on me, I guess, for not being more careful. Just really didn't want to lose that time, but it's fine. Almost looked like Dylan <laughs> hit the wall up there. It looked like he got really, really close. He must be pushing, trying to get up to Scott, but they're still just the same distance apart. He's 0.9 back to Scott now. Just the smallest difference there. Running out of time though. We're going to be 15 to go when we get to the line next. Nick gained about two tenths back whenever I had to lift off on exit with a lap car. Maybe I got confused the lap car in between. Still only point point nine. We're just so stuck with these same intervals. It feels like. Nick's catching though. He's got my draft too. It's got to be helping him. I can feel the right rear being much more worn than last time, but it's just not translating to any more speed, it feels like. Oh, Nick's closer. We might have our hands full of keeping him back there. Oh, did Scott have an issue? He's only 0.6 ahead now. He might have had to let, let off. He might have gotten tied on exit or something. I didn't see anything. But I wasn't looking. Will that cost him? I don't know. I cut that too close. <laughs> I didn't even get tight, I just cut that way too close for no reason.
Oh no, my internet. Internet acting up. See that yellow bar up there? I hope that's not going to continue. Looks like it's going away. My racing got mad at me though for doing that lap under bad internet condition conditions. There. Dylan, point six back. It's getting close. Only eight to go, though. Point five for him, but only just for a moment. The closer he gets to, the more that draft is gonna pull him toward him. But we have a very interesting finish brewing. I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna make up that difference in such a short amount of time. You know, they're both gonna be trying though. Point four between them. They're getting really close. Just judging by what my relative says. It's kind of going back and forth a little bit. We're not part of this race, but still pretty thrilling to watch. The gap behind is now not protected. Nick now point eight back. Feeling a little more comfortable with that. Five, five to go. Five to go. That's a little different there. It did not work. I gotta just focus on being consistent to the end of this thing, I think. Not trying anything different. Point three separates them with four to go. One slip up. Completely change who wins this race. Point two! Oh my gosh, this is gonna be another one of those classic finishes. Oh, that'd be fun to watch. The two up there. Lap traffic. Oh, is that gonna affect this race? Sky has to stay low. That's going to hurt his exit. Dylan going to get draft down the straight. These things are little, but they make a difference. I don't know. Two laps to go. Thanks, brother. Yeah, I got nothing. Those changes make any difference? Got over a second well, behind us now. Track feels like it's getting faster with the sun down. Oh gosh, guy ahead. Hits the wall. Our exit's hurt, but it doesn't matter. We have no one to catch. What an awesome job today. Oh, he tries to maybe give him some bumper. Not quite getting there, though. Oh, man. What a fun finish. I wanted to yellow to get my lap back, but I don't care. That was a great racing. 
finish. Yeah, that's a long time to be the lucky dog, isn't it? Here's the flag. It's over. Great job. You did really good race, well. good win, Scott. That was a fun race to watch at the end. Thought you might catch him, Dylan. Yeah, good win, Scott. Good race, everyone. <laughs> that was fun. He just kept inching closer and closer until they were just point two apart. It's been a long time since I've been that slow in a race. All right, P3, 54-57 that last run. Whew. That was tough. That was that was a that was a tough one. Even just holding it on for P3. Just didn't have enough, Dylan says. He'll finish point two behind. Very entertaining. And a great finish for us. P2 both stages, P3 to finish it off. Another top five great day for the point standings for sure. Scott will get another win. Go ahead and see what happened out here. Remember we had the immediate caution. We'll see what that was all about. Might gain down. Right, what was it? Three wide in the first turn. Usually not a great thing. So we had some different launch speeds. I don't think they meant to get three wide. It just kind of happened. And then it looks like Alex maybe just drifts up a little too far for three wide. Gets into Nick King, who gets sideways. Billy collects into him. Anybody else? I think that was it. Two cars involved. A little bit of blinking for Shane. Because apparently all technology hates him. And Carwile into the wall. Not in there, that's just a blink. Wall hits, gonna be the majority of what we see, I'm sure. That and blinks. Pretty darn clean race overall. Oh, massive net code. That was massive net code. Oh my gosh, that's some of the worst I've seen in a while. The 23 is too low, but they shouldn't have made contact. Look how far apart that is. Hmm. Up 98. Don't think anything going on here. Ball hits. 23. Christian was talking about a potential top 5, I think, and he said he threw it away. Was that it, maybe? He said he choked top 5. Not sure if that's what he was referring to. He was P8 at the time that happened. Some blinking going on. I'll assume that's what's continuing on there. Shane has been blinking a bit. We might not see anything else. Yeah, that was it. An extremely clean race. We just had a, cu a couple of unfortunate incidents. One massive netcode spot and then one just three wide on the start. I don't even think they intended for it to happen.
<laughs> this is me like every night. Okay, who's still open for food? I keep forgetting to eat. That's like me every single day. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> so Scott gets the win. Absolutely earned. He dominated this one. Dylan gave him a run for his money at the end there. Comes up just short. We just didn't quite have anything for him. He's still here. Uh, how do I fit everything into this? I kept trying to do the I gave that. Yeah, it was great. I mean, I tried. Every time we would have a pit stop, I would start the new run with, like, a new idea, and I just had nothing. I couldn't figure out how he was doing it. Yeah, I tried backing it down the second run. I tried being more patient through middle and exit. Backed it down on the street. Yeah, he was he was going easy too. <laughs> Short run speed in the first run. I at least felt fast between them. <laughs> yeah, I thought Nick was gonna catch me for a while there. He was like really coming up on us. He had it within what point three at one point. So he, uh, I thought for sure he had it, had a good run on us there, just fell off a little bit late, I think. But that'll do it for this one. I guess I'll do my chatting on my own time. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll go ahead and, uh, before I forget, I'm trying to remember. He loosened it up, the finals up. That makes sense. That probably helped him a lot. Helps to be knowledgeable about things, huh? Talking to me. <laughs> um, I'll try to remember here. I'll look at your results page. I'm going to try to remember doing that from now on by recommendation. Just so everyone can see the points and such. Let's see if I can switch this over properly to window capture. Please, is that working? I think that's working. <laughs> um, no, it's not working because that's not the window I want to capture. What if I do this? Okay, that looks really weird, but we're going to go with it. Sorry, I'll figure this out. Actually, you know what? What if I do... Bear with me here. I only have to learn once. All right, that did nothing. That did nothing. Wait, I think if I press... I know you can't see this. I'm sorry. What if... Okay, that looks a little better. We'll run with that. Okay, so here are your results. <laughs> now that I've figured that out. Um, Scott, of course, gets the win. Stage points will not have been added yet. No uh, fastest lap times or anything in this one, so unfortunately, despite the fact we got best best lap, 
Not going to do much for us. But we will get 34 points total, plus our stage finishes of second second. Scott going to get the lion's share today, though. Winning every stage and the race. Can't do much better than that. And now next, after we've looked at that, it's going to be a black screen for a moment. Bear with me. We're going to go look at the league standings, and these are going to be before the stage points are added. So, in your mind, add a little bit to... Da, 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 add a little bit more to me and a lot more to Scott. Probably adjust your uh, perception of the standings based on that. And here we are. Okay, no more black screen for you, I promise. That result? No. Post race. Why is this not working? I apologize. I can't figure this out. <laughs> but, uh... Oh my goodness, that's not right at all. <laughs> Alright, sorry. So, I'll put the uh, point standings in the description at the bottom so no one can see them before they watch the finish but that'll do it for this one uh thank you for bearing with me there trying to figure that out and i will see you next time thanks for watching have a good one